Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their Chris, mission. Have you found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. This way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Dining room. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's.
What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Jill, don't scare me. Speak for yourself, Barry. What are you doing here? Yeah, well, uh, I think you should take a look at this. I warn you, though, it's not pretty. It's forest. Oh, what could have done this to him? God only knows, but I'm gonna find out what did this to him. Jill, could you investigate other areas? Yeah, sure. 
Jill, this is no longer useful to Forrest. We don't know what's going to happen. Take it with you. I still can't believe it. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? I'm okay. The others...
Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? If I play my cards right. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. I'm lucky I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately.
What the hell is this thing? Barry! Jill! It was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. All right. Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, he sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha Team. Come in. This is Jill. Does anybody hear me? I hear you, Brad. Over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. Doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad? Brad! This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Brad! Brad! Shit. It's broken. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up! Enrico! <laughs> <sighs> Traitor? Who? Thank God you're safe. 
You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. That sound. It could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me, and go on ahead. Okay. Jill? Chris! You're alive! Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open! Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay. No sightseeing, though.
Jill. Barry. You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry... <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <laughs> Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. Viral cultured freak. Okay. Ah, Jill. Sorry. 
That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. Jill. Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of? Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. Contact with Brad. No. We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris. Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Use it! Kill it, whatever it is! 